And to save the crew, sometimes the needle on the speedometer gets pegged right up to here. We're working with the guys specifically testing out the Avenger SAM system. This is a US made rig called the Avenger, a short range surface to air missile system. It's got a Browning machine gun on board and can fire up to eight Stinker missiles. We've got a monitor with a thermal imager, so we can operate day and night, no problem. Basically, it's like a video camera. We can aim it anywhere and spot our targets. When the operator picks up a visual, he logs the targeting system onto it. With the missile, it tracks the hit signature and zeroes in on the target. All we gotta do is press the launch button and the missile takes off after it. We forget about the target and can move on to another one if there's something else to hit. Yes, yes. Where we were stationed, we didn't have those Shahid drones, none of that stuff. Shahid mostly go where people are living, but recon drones, they're out where the fighting's happening, right in the combat zones. Those are their eyes, you know. If you leave them up there, they can still see. Take them out and they're blind. Makes our job a whole lot easier. The rig can operate on the move. We can drive and steal spot, track, and take out targets at the same time. It's legit. And get this, we had the situation where a Lancet was chasing the guys, and even though the official top speed is supposed to be around 20 miles per hour, combat ops while moving, well, the guys... Yeah, 30, 35 kilometers per hour, but they were pushing over 90 per hour, and they still smoke that Lancet. The manual says 90 tops. They don't recommend going faster, but when you're on standby and gotta roll out quick, you gotta put that pedal down a bit. The needle just lays flat. This rig, I'm happy with this rig. After how many missions did you realize you'd really gotten the hang of it? After two or three launches, I just saw that, how do I put it, no more jitters. You can just do your job calm and steady and it works out. Who's waiting back home? My wife. My mom. My wife and two sons, one of them turned one month old yesterday. Hey Mark, I got them out of the country back in 22, came back and well, I joined the military. So they don't just give you live, so they don't just let you live, they let you go abroad too. Yeah, they let you go abroad and leave. Wanna go abroad? Join the armed forces, only legit to operator in Ukraine. Life keeps going. If we don't live now, we won't live later either. Solid. Let's keep living. Thanks, Ben.